How's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of creating the Blade Runner look from the first Blade Runner movie and apply it to every night photo you have. So let's get started. As you can see, the screen grabs from the movie, the most predominant color is cyan. Or to be more precise, different tones of cyan, with blues and purples in the shadows, and occasionally yellow, orange, green, and magenta, depending on the scene. Now that we have our references, let's begin the edit. Okay, now that we're in Lightroom, let's change the camera profile to Adobe Neutral because this one is more suited for our edit. Take the temperature slider and go all the way to the left. And since this is too much blue for us, let's dial it down. Okay, 2769 is good. For tint, click the value and type in zero and enter. We're going to take care of tint at the end. Let's decrease the highlights, bump up the shadows. Decrease the whites and match somewhat the highlights and bump up the blacks just under shadows. Increase texture, but not too much. Clarity, keep it under minus 15 since we have a lot of light sources. And dehaze just under the clarity value. Vibrance and saturation are not going to be used in this tutorial, but we still have contrast which I'm going to decrease, but keep it under minus 30. Good. Close out basics and let's go to tone curve. Hold Alt or Option key on your keyboard and click a point in the middle. Now grab your top right corner point and drag it down, keeping it above output 240. Now, since I have a shadow spike in my curve, I'm going to add a point right here, drag it down add another point and drag it down and grabbing the lower left corner point and dragging it up keeping it under output 10. if you go above you're going to ruin your shadows and blacks so keep it at 10 or below good close out tone curve and let's go to color grading if you're in the three-way mode change to individuals first is going to be shadows let's decrease it keeping it under minus 30 Increasing the midtones and the highlights. Now we're going to add some blending so everything blends together better. And as for balance, if you go to the left, you're going to balance for the shadows. And if you go to the right, you're going to balance for the highlights. So we're going to keep it just right around here on the highlights area. Close out color grading and let's go to detail. Here, hold Alt and Option key again and click on the masking and drag it out. Everything that is white, it's going to be sharpened and everything that is black, it's not going to be sharpened. So we're gonna leave it right around here and let's add around 60 something as amount. Noise reduction, we're not gonna need it. So we're going to take the color noise slider and drag it all the way up. Now close out of detail. Next up, lens correction, enable, remove chromatic aberration. And if you want to enable profile correction and change the lens profile, it's up to you. I'm going to leave it like that. Close out and let's go to calibration. Now calibration is one of the major steps in getting the Blade Runner look. So let's begin by taking the blue primary and shifting it towards aqua if you go all the way you see the effect so we need just a little bit let's keep it at minus 21 now if we take the saturation and increase it you'll see that everything that is blue gets intense or desaturates so we're gonna keep it at almost the same value as the hue as for green we don't need yellow in our photo we need aqua or cyan or teal so we're gonna bump it up right around here as for saturation if we decrease it we decrease it all over the photo so we're gonna increase it just a little bit and finally red i'm going to decrease just the saturation because we have not so much red in our photo just in a few spots now let's close out of calibration and go to the second step of achieving the look, the HSL. As I said, red is 
not so much present so we're going to increase the saturation here and decrease the luminance for orange we have only the street lamp so i'm going to take the hue slider and go and make it all the way yellow and on yellow i'm going to slide it to the right to give it a more greenish hue decrease the saturation on orange and increase the luminance decrease the saturation on yellow and increase the luminance as for green we have just this sign right here with its reflection so already you can see there is a little bit of artifacting here to fix that i'm going to slide it to the yellow not the cyan side or teal decrease the saturation and increase the luminance and now for the main stars aqua and blue we're going to take the blue hue and slide it towards the aqua side increase the saturation and increase the luminance as for aqua we're going to take it and slide it just a little bit towards the green side increase the saturation and increase the luminance purple and magenta we don't have we don't touch close out of hsl and go to the final step color grading we're going to start with the shadow and as said in the reference section there were blues and purples in the shadow so we're going to do the same thing increase the saturation all the way to 100 to see the effect drag it right around here to get a purple blue hue and let's decrease it until we get the desired effect so in my case it's a saturation of 25 with a hue of 259 let's move on to midtones for midtones i want a aqua blue not so much aqua but a little bit blue so around here drag it all the way let's take it also to 25 looking good and finally highlights saturation 100 okay this looks really interesting but i want it to be a more greenish aqua so let's drag it down perfect so for shadows again the hue is 259 with a saturation of 25 midtones is hue 197 with 25 and highlights is 167 with 20. and now for the final 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 touch close out color grading and let's go to masking we're gonna take a simple brush and scroll down on your mouse wheel to make it smaller paint here or where your light source is in my case it's all the shop signs the glass windows and the puddle it doesn't have to be perfect just to give an effect the light pole and the screen here if by mistake you went haywire just hold alt or option key on your keyboard and it switches to minus increase it with the mouse wheel and correct it by reducing or deleting the brush and now to achieve the glow we're going to take dehaze increase it to the max actually sorry decrease it to the max and tone it down right around here clarity the same texture the same now we're going to take highlights increase those increase the shadows decrease the contrast and if we go to the mask and to this eye icon click it before after before after hit done and this is your blade runner inspired look and that's how you do it now, if you want this look as a preset, there's a link in the description where you can grab it for free. And if this video was very helpful for you, please press like, it helps the video a lot. Share it with your friends who you think they might need the help or the knowledge. Drop a comment if you want me to do more videos like these. And don't forget to subscribe and hit on the notification bell. And one last thing, here is what YouTube thinks you like the most. And this is a really cool playlist that you might like to watch. Until next time, take care.